Hey friends, all month long, we have been learning that we don't have to be afraid because God's got it. So who's got it? God's got it. That's right. Knowing that I can trust God makes me feel so much better when I get worried or afraid. Does it make you feel better too? Yeah, absolutely. And you know another thing that really helps me? What? It's learning our memories and saying that over and over in my head to help me remember that. Yeah, that's a great idea. You want to say it with me? Yeah, let's go. All right. It goes like this. God God is is with with you you wherever wherever you go. go. Joshua 1, 9. Wow, that was a great job. Next week, we're going to have a brand new memory verse to learn. But for right now, let's go sing and dance. Let's go. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with me, always. That's what I know. 
I love singing and dancing with you guys so much, but today I'm so excited to go to the clubhouse and hear from our friend Luis. And he has an awesome, incredible story about a guy named Noah. Yeah, Noah was put in a super scary situation, but he trusted God through it all. So this should be a good one. That's right. So let's go join Luis and hear what he has to say. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We can hear at the Wonder Clubhouse. We can hear. Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the Clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. It's still raining outside. Can you believe it? I had a really fun idea. Since it's still raining outside, why not play with water inside? Do you like to play with water? Me too. I made two boats. One made of foam and the other made of foil. I wanna see how many of these animals will fit onto each boat before it starts to sink. Do you wanna help me? Let's try it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, Wow, so many animals. Wow, that was so much fun. Did you guess which one would sink first? Great job. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Playing with water, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Since it's still raining outside, I decided to play with water inside. That does sound fun. It's true. I have a story about water and animals just for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Hola friends, I'm Luis the Handyman. Good to see you today. <laughs> it just finished raining, so I'm drying off my table so we can build together. Are you ready to build a Bible story with me? Oh, <laughs> great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Noah. Noah loved God and always tried to do what God said. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. Noah got to work right away. Uh-oh. I think my boat pieces got mixed up. Hmm. I'll try to build it, and you tell me if it's right. Okay, ready? All right. One, two. Oh, there's a nice boat. Wait, that boat isn't big enough. Let's try it again. One. Two, three. There, that's a bigger boat. Oh wait, that's still not big enough. Okay, maybe this will be right. One, two, three, four. 
Oh, now that's a big, big boat. Ooh, that's a huge boat. Way to go, Noah. <laughs> you built the ark just like God told you to. The ark needed to be that big because God had a big plan. God told Noah to put two of every animal on the ark. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Tell me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I love all those. Let me show you my favorite animal. What are these? <laughs> yes, penguins. I love penguins. <laughs> Oh, and there were all kinds of other animals, too. Ooh, here they come. <laughs> Hello, animals. Then Noah and his family got on the boat, and God shut the door. We might think that Noah was worried. He was getting in a boat with all the animals and didn't know what would happen next. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And then it began to rain. Oh, can you help me make it rain? Okay, now you're gonna pat your legs like this. Okay, keep going. Okay, well, it rained and it rained and the whole earth flooded with water. But God kept Noah and his family and the animals safe. After it stopped raining, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird out to fly and see if it could find dry land. We might think that Noah was worried that the water would never go away. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And look, the bird brought back a green leaf. <laughs> Yay! That meant that there was dry land where trees could grow. It was such a happy day when God said Noah and his family could get out of the ark. Noah thanked God for being with them the whole time and keeping everyone safe. Then, God did the most amazing thing. God put a rainbow in the sky to promise that he'd never flood the whole earth again. When we see a rainbow, we can remember that God keeps his promises. God is always with us, and God's got it. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God told Noah just what to do. And he kept his promise to him, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what an awesome story. God was with Noah the whole time, and God always keeps his promises. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, it stopped raining outside after all of this time. I hope I can see a rainbow. I'm gonna go look right now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Wow, what a cool story. Shay, would you have been worried to be on the boat with all of those different kind of animals? Uh, yeah, I don't like birds mm. and it would have smelled terrible, but it's so cool to see the way that Noah trusted God. And God said he was going to take care of him, and that's exactly what he did. And you know what? God says the same thing to us, that no matter what's going on in our lives, he's going to take care of us. We just have to trust in him, and he'll take care of us just like he took care of Noah. Yeah, that's so right. So what are a few things that we can do this week to show that we trust in God? Ooh, that's a great question. One way is to pray to him. Let him know what's going on and what you need help with, that you need to trust in him. Another way is to keep saying our memory verse. Keep repeating that in our minds so that we can remind ourselves to trust in him. Those are some great ideas. This week, I want you guys to put your trust in God just like Noah did. So to wrap up today, Shay, would you like to pray for us? I would love to do that. 
Father, we're so thankful uh, that we can put our trust in you. Thank you so much uh, that no matter what's going on in our lives, that you promise that you've got it, that you're going to take care of it, us, just like you took care of Noah. We love you so much, and we're so thankful um, for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We had such a great time with you guys here today. Make sure you invite a friend to watch with you next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.